Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this hex support stage mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to make everything from scratch and I hope you learn something from this tutorial. So let's start. So click on assembly, click on insert components, click on new part. Select the top plane, press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Now click on polygon, reduce it to 3. Draw a shape as per your requirement and escape. Select this line, make it horizontal. Increase or decrease the diameter as per your requ uh, requirement. Okay. In my case, 300 mm is fine for me. Okay. Now I will use something called chamfer. Now, one thing that you might before I use chamfer, one thing you notice it is in blue color. So how I can make it you know fully defined select this point and by pressing control select this click on coincide now it's black it is fully defined now now click on here click on chamfer uh, you know what let's press control set I have a better way I will you know later on when I stood it I will cut it out that will be better Make a hole here of diameter 150mm, extrude, 50mm uh, is fine, ok, and now I will use chamfer, to leave the face, only set the edges and increase this value click on distance distance click ok uh, I think that's ok plus I can you know if I want to modification in future I can easily do that now what I have to do is select this face, press ctrl plus 8. Now click on here, click on sketch. I will draw two circles and a center line. Give it a dimensions as per requirement 150 mm, 10 mm. Diamond. and put in this line mirror and it is mirror about this line click ok uh, features not here circular pattern select this origin select the sketch that you want to pattern make sure number of instances will be 3 click ok and Just checking they are all you not know, 20mm apart. Yeah, 20mm apart. That's basically what I want. Let's see. these two points. Just checking, you know, that everything is fine. Now, click on extrude cut. 50mm um, is fine, or you can use two all as well. It is up to you. So, we have made something called base. Okay. Oh, let make it. Let's say this is the top part of it. Okay, so as it adds some component mode, select this part, press F2, and say top. Now, click on insert components, click on new part, select the top plane, press Ctrl plus 8. Click on here. Now, watch carefully what is the angle right now because it's a very important thing. 
if you remember that previous time this point you know is acting up for direction but this time you know it's uh, up or downwards so make sure it is that else you will face some issues so yeah last time i made it uh, you know diameter of 300 mm let's this time it of 500 mm escape select this point line make it horizontal and by pressing control select these two points make it coincide uh, extrude oh i forgot to create a simple hole here Make sure next time the fence is checked on, else you will face some issues. And okay, let's say chamfer. Make sure it's distance. Let's control this. So, Delete the face on the selection. Once the stem is fine, click OK. Now, what I will do, I will select this face, click on sketch. This side is will be much better and easier as well. So we make it here. So the whole diameter is 10 mm, and let's define the distance. Uh, it's 300. Let's make it 30. Mirror about this line, sorry. Circular pattern. Make it number of instances to three. Click OK. Extrude that. Fifty is fine. OK. Exit direction component mode. Select this part. Move it downwards. And what I need to do? Let's see. Before I move forward, I will select the front plane. Click on sketch. Click on the center line, press and find here. Escape, select this and this, make it concentric. Click OK, select this face and select the top face. Click OK. Now let's right click on it, click on fix. I make it fix for a reason so that you know it doesn't move. now i need to make something for my suspension so what i can do so okay by default you use something called universal coupling but in my case i am using spherical joint why the reason is that spherical joint is easier to make plus it will take less time but if i make you know universal coupling it will consume a lot of time and most of you you know don't like to watch my long videos so that is the reason I'm going for, you know, spherical joint. Okay. I hope I cleared your doubts. So what I will do, I will click on here, click on new part, select the front plane, press control plus eight. So how should I pose this thing? So draw a circle here. And give it a diameter but how much diameter so i am going to give if you remember correctly 
I have given distance of 20 mm from the center line. Okay, uh, for those who are not remembering, from here to here in this case is 20 mm. Okay, so keeping in that in mind, I will give the distance for that. So the distance will be uh, 20 mm here. I think 30 mm is fine. And I will draw two center lines. Trim the necessary lines. Reward ball space. Click on no. Asking for the axis about which I want to reward. So this one. Reduce the thickness. 5 mm is fine. Click OK. Now what I will do. I will go here. Select this top plane. Click on sketch. Draw a circle of 10 mm radius. Oh, sorry, 10 mm diameter. My bad. Now, what I will do is that extrude both space, reverse direction, increase this value, click on direction to click on up to surface, select this face, and reduce this value. Okay, so I have a bad news. You see that some background noise is going on uh, my house so I will you know going to keep shut my mouth for a bit because of the unwanted noise so sorry for that
for those who are wondering why there is a point here so you know for for that you can easily you know use joints or your mates so i can simply use coincident mates if i use spherical to spherical it will not give that accurate results so that is the reason uh, i have done this uh, let's see what we got Hmm. Now it will look little by little, it will look better. So, what I will do uh, by pressing control, right click on mouse, drag it. By pressing control, right click on mouse, drag it. Okay, but I want more, so let's drag it more. Okay, so first I will, you know, do the mating for the upper parts, then I will go to the bottom one. I am using temporary fix, uh, you know just to move it and place it correctly here, that's all. Now right click, float. Now move it upwards. Now... Notice something strange. Actually... I guess I have used two here. Okay, my bad. Actually, you know, connected with this one. So, right click and delete this part. Now, it's good. Now, what I have to do is by pressing Ctrl, right click, drag this part. Uh, um, I need also five time more. So, three, four, five. Now let's do the meeting here as well. Before I move forward, uh, just press Ctrl S, save it. You know I don't want to lose all the uh, all my hard work. So give it a name. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. blah. Select this face and this face. Notice something that there is a hole here. So, what I am getting in my mind that actually delete the right part and you know made the wrong one. So, my bad again. Sorry for that. So, right click and delete it. 
Yes, so by pressing control, drag this thing. So you can see that I got something like a support mechanism. Let's try to rotate it. Okay, it's working. Okay, I messed up a little bit. So what I have to do is, you know, just to make its face parallel to it parallel oh my god so let's move it upward let's rotate it a mm, little bit issue but I think select this face and select this one parallel oh, okay Take this face press control plus eight. So you can see it's working. There's a no showing that. Notice it is quite good. In Solvers, you know, animation is a little bit tougher, but you can see it's working quite good. Okay. I also made something like this in Blender as well. It's a open source software, so you can use it. And here you can see it's working quite well and animation speed is quite good and if I want to rotate you can see it's way more better for animation purposes instead in you know in case of SOLIDWORKS like if I zoom in and you see it's working way too good in SOLIDWORKS it's you know crappy little bit animation thing but in Blender it's working quite fine just in case if anybody want to learn how to make in blender if you are you know blender user as well you can check out my other channels i think its name is moria works and you can go and you know watch there and learn from it so that's for all in this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day Namaste.